Ladies and gentlemen, it is August 29th. The transfer window is about to close soon, and we've just gotten some major Arsenal news. But before we go any further, please do me a favor, guys. I just got 300 plus likes on my last video. I need you guys to do me a favor. Try to get the same, and let's try to break a record. Let's try to go for 400 likes. I appreciate all the uh, all the love and support in these transfer videos, and I'm going to try to keep pumping them up for you guys and try to give you guys all the latest Arsenal news so you don't have to go anywhere else. But here, let's just get straight into it as there is some massive, 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 massive news around Arsenal Football Club and the whole goalkeeper situation specifically. but uh, And there's also some news on the wingers and everything else. You guys know, uh, you guys have already seen everything in the links in the description, but before we go any further, let's just try, let's go straight into it. So I'm going to start from the beginning and work my way back because there's a lot to discuss. There is a lot to discuss at this moment in time. So first, 10 hours ago, we found out that um, Fabrizio Romano was saying that since Aaron Ramsdale is going to be uh, leaving to go to Southampton, Arsenal are interested in Joao Garcia. And we're going to go for Joao Garcia heavy in this transfer window. Joao Garcia is the guy that we want. Joao Garcia is the guy that we're going to go for. Joao Garcia is the player that we're interested in. So that's who everyone thinks is going to come in and replace Aaron Ramsdale. But guess what happens? Ten hours ago, we get a report from Fabrizio Romano saying the Espanol do not want to uh, to sell Joao Garcia for the amount that Arsenal are interested in him for. Arsenal have made Joao Garcia their their number one backup to Aaron Ramsdale, but the alternative to Aaron Ramsdale costs too much money because we sold Aaron Ramsdale for less than thirty million euros, and we're not going to now buy Joao Garcia for thirty million euros, which is Joao Garcia's release clause at Espanyol. And Espanyol insisted that Arsenal pay the release clause, or else they're not going to get Joao Garcia. So now Arsenal need to go find another keeper. We are in a situation where Joao Garcia, who is our replacement for Aaron Ramsdale, can no longer be the replacement because he costs too much money, and we now need to go find somebody else to come in and replace our replacement so what do we do what are we going to do what are we going to do we're going to have to find a replacement but in the meanwhile we also need a winger we also need an attacker to join arsenal football club so guess what nine hours ago we get a report that kingsley coleman has been offered to arsenal football club talk sport have reported that kingsley coleman uh uh uh, Bayern Munich are trying to get his wage bill off the books and Arsenal would be considering a move for Kingsley Coleman before the deadline, which is tomorrow. Friday is tomorrow. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. Numerous reports coming out, Alex Crooks and everything else. We also find out Saliba is going to be in the French national team. No surprise there. He's one of the best defenders in the world. Of course, he's going to be in the French team. In the meanwhile, we're, we're hearing uh, other stuff. We're hearing that Bayer, uh, Bayern want to sell him. Bayern want to sell him. Leverkusen want, uh, uh, Bayern want to buy a Leverkusen player. We'll see if that has any correlation. In the meanwhile, Aaron Ramsdale has been dropped by the England team. Ben White uh, is no longer back in the team yet either, but Saka and Declan Rice have been selected for the England team. Um, that uh, This is all in order, right? Um, Lee, Lee Karras says that Ben White is not available for selection. Nothing has changed in the two weeks uh, being here. As far as I'm aware, there is no change. So apparently Ben White has not made himself available for England yet. That is another thing. So in the meanwhile, while we're talking about Kingsley Coleman, in the background, there's some Raheem Sterling conversations. Yes, six hours ago, we heard that Raheem Sterling has been offered to Arsenal and the player is willing to take a pay cut to join Arsenal. What on earth is going on, ladies and gentlemen? So we got Kingsley Coleman, Raheem Sterling. Who do you want? On one hand, you have Kingsley Coleman, who's constantly injured. On the other hand, you have Raheem Sterling, who is... Premier League proven, who is a little bit past his best over the last two years and not played well for Chelsea, but at least he's familiar with the league and he's not injury prone. The only problem is both of them cost ridiculous money and Arsenal don't really want to pay a transfer fee for either player. So maybe Raheem Sterling can force his way out of Chelsea. Let's wait and see what happens. So um, next you have a situation where it's either Kingsley Coleman or, 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 or Sterling. Who do you want? That's what we're asking you right now. So let me know in the comment section, who do you want? I don't even know why man's putting Mudrick in there. We're not getting Mudrick. Mudrick's not for sale. Chelsea are not putting him up for sale. But 
Raheem Sterling's people have said it would be a dream move to join Arsenal. The Chelsea, but Chelsea want a fee. Arsenal don't want to pay a fee. So it's a tricky situation. At this moment in time, Raheem Sterling wants to move. Arsenal want to move. Chelsea want to move. But Chelsea want to be compensated for the move. There's no way Arsenal is going to pay money for a player that they've said will not be rejoining the team and they do no, lo no longer want the, the player at the team. We are not mugs. Chelsea are going to have to let him go on a, on a cheap deal or just let him loan loan him to us and and you'll pay you'll pay a portion of the wages also so at this moment in time it's target one Coleman backup car uh, is sterling that is what's being reported from a thing that sterling and Coleman are both being offered to arsenal by representatives and agents these, these are decent deals let's wait and see um while we're speaking about raheem sterling kingsley Coleman is also getting offers from Al Hilal over there in Saudi Arabia. But that deal is at risk of potentially breaking down. We don't know. Al Hilal are serious. He could end up at Saudi Arabia, but at the same time, if he ends up at Saudi Arabia, he's going to get all his money or even more. If he comes to Arsenal, he's going to have to take a pay cut. Maybe Kingsley Coleman doesn't want to do that. So this is another situation that we have right there. Then you go to um, the Champions League draw. Arsenal have drawn four teams in the Champions League. We're going to play PSG at home, Inter away. Uh, then we're going to play um, Shakhtar at home, at Atlanta away, Domino Zigarab at, at home, Sporting away, Monaco at home, Girona away. PSG is going to be an easier tie than some of the teams we could have got in the first in the, in in the first pot. Inter is a very uh, difficult tie, but we're going to have to grind that result out and see what we can do against Inter, Shakhtar, and Atlanta. Favorable ties compared to some of the other teams we could have got, like Atletico Madrid, and very uh, very much other teams that are very up there in Europe with European pedigree. We got lucky there. And then the rest of the group, I think, is relatively easy. We should be able to win at least these four games and get all 12 points from there. Atlanta, Shakhtar, we should be able to at least get minimum from the 24 points available. We should get at least 18 and come out of this group. I think this is a relatively good group for Arsenal. Um, but while we're talking about groups, forget about that. There's more Champions League. Uh, there's more transfer news. Fabrizio Romano has said that Chelsea are are in talks with Manchester United for Jadon Sancho in a separate deal from Ozyman. Forget about Ozyman. They want Sancho. And in order to get Sancho, they're going to need to move off Raheem Sterling. Yes. Uh, Arsenal have been offered both Coleman and Sterling. We're waiting to see which one is the better option. But in the meanwhile, don't forget, we still want Nico Williams. Nico Williams is still on Arsenal's list. But guys, as reported on numerous occasions, Nico Williams does not want to leave Atletico Balbao. He wants to stay at Atletico Balbao. They gave him the number 10 shirt. He promised his brother he's going to stay for another season. And his dream move is to go to Barcelona. Arsenal have still not been able to convince the player to join Arsenal. Even if we trigger his release clause, he does not want to join Arsenal at this moment in time. He's basically rejected us. So what can we do? In the other hand, Eddie Nketia is now a Crystal Palace player. And, and Eze was a key part in getting Eddie Nketia to Crystal Palace as they have a strong relationship, the two of them. And, and Eddie Nketia chose Palace over Forest. So that is one thing. In other news, Chelsea are pushing. Remember when I said earlier about Jane Essential, Chelsea are now pushing to sell Raheem Sterling to Arsenal and can uh, so uh, so they can do, then afford to go get Jane Essential. So Chelsea want Jane Essential, but in order to get Jane Essential, they want to sell Raheem Sterling to Arsenal. Arsenal don't want to pay no money, so Chelsea has a problem here, not Arsenal. We're good. Actually, technically, we both have a problem. They want to get rid of Raheem Sterling. We don't mind having Raheem Sterling. So it's a win-win for both teams. But then comes an absolute shock out of nowhere. Absolute shock out of nowhere. The Daily Mail have said that Arsenal are expressing interest in Anthony Gordon. Personally, I would take Anthony Gordon over both Kingsley Coleman and Raheem Sterling at this moment in time. He's a younger up-and-coming player who's performing better than both of them and doesn't have an injury record also. But he would cost an extensive amount of money and Newcastle do not want to sell Anthony Gordon. So this is the situation with Anthony Gordon. This day 
has been wild and I'm not even close to being done because remember uh, before before uh, before when we before we got onto the wingers and talking about Anthony Gordon and everything else we were speaking about a goalkeeper who's the goalkeeper that Arsenal is going to sign well we have an answer to that goalkeeper situation yes we have an answer to the goalkeeper situation the goalkeeper answer is actually Pedro, uh, not Pedro Neto, but Neto from Bournemouth. Neto from Bournemouth, former Barcelona goalkeeper Neto, who's currently at Bournemouth, could replace Aaron Ramsdale. Yes, Neto could replace Aaron Ramsdale. Neto it makes a lot of sense. He's a second a second goalkeeper, Premier League proven, low cost. He also has experience in the Champions League, playing for Barcelona, and also. Gunnar Blog has said that Arsenal are exploring a deal to sign Neto, and this is because the Garcia deal, the draw Garcia deal, hit an impasse, and that's not going to happen. So the Brazilian looks like he could be coming on loan, and it's not even a permanent deal; it's a loan. So what this means is Arsenal could go get Neto on loan, and then we would still have the possibility to go get Joao Garcia in the summer, if uh, uh, once again next summer or. If anything, we can we can we can have Neto, and maybe if he works out well, we can keep him. But personally, to me, I don't think Neto is that good of a keeper. That means Ray is going to be playing Champions League and the league, and I don't trust Neto. Maybe when he comes in, he can play the League Cups and the FA Cups, and if he can earn some of the trust from the management there. But the reason why they want to draw Garcia, they rate him highly, similar to how Man City have Ortega and. And Ederson, we kind of wanted that dynamic, but we didn't want to keep Ramsdale as Ramsdale wanted to leave himself and he was on significantly higher wages. Now, Neto is an interesting signing. It's concrete. It's They're really looking at it and they're really looking to strike the deal. It's a cheap deal. We're going to find out in the next 24 hours as we're going to have to find out in the next 24 hours as the transfer window will close at 11 o'clock tomorrow. But Samuel McBell has said that Arsenal have open talks with Bournemouth over a keeper Neto in the case that the deal for Espanol keeper Joao Garcia does not materialize. Garcia prefers an option with a, uh, uh, with a, uh, Garcia is the preferred option, but the price is an issue and there's more transfer, uh, more transfer news on the sporting mail. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But at this moment in time, it is what it is. It looks like, so just to keep you guys up to date, draw Garcia, draw Garcia is not happening. Pedro Neto is now the new goalkeeper that we're going to be looking for. Uh, as we speak about all the other stuff, Arsenal's pushing for the Sterling deal. Also, Anthony Gordon interest has come out of nowhere in the most recent uh, couple of hours. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Also, there's a situation with Kingsley Coleman. Could that end up happening? We'll have to see if that is also another option. And finally, the final thing that we're going to have to speak about before we end. Yeah, there's so much that we needed to speak about today. There's still news about Ivan Tony. Yes. Ivan Tony conversations are still floating about. Ivan Tony could be headed to Saudi Arabia, as clubs in Saudi Arabia are interested in Ivan Tony. But it is told nine hours ago that Arsenal still plan a shock late move. I don't believe it because Saudi Arabia are the front runners right now to sign Eddie, uh, Ivan Tony, and Ivan Tony does want a, a a large pay package wherever he goes. So I don't know if Arsenal will be able to agree a fifty million pound transfer plus large pay package for Ivan Tony. There has been rumors saying that Ivan Tony is not what we're looking for. We have heard numerous times that they're not looking for a striker; they're looking for a winger. So I, it's hard for me to believe that there's any legs with the Ivan Tony story. So yeah, quick rehab caps. Raheem Sterling's been offered to Arsenal. Kingsley Coman's been offered to Arsenal. Arsenal want Raheem Sterling, but they don't want to pay the money. We've also been interested in Anthony Gordon. That looks unlikely. We wanted Joao Garcia. That's not going to happen. And Pedro Neto. Uh, not Pedro Neto, Neto, the goalkeeper, the Brazilian goalkeeper, is now looking like he's going to be the Aaron Ramsdale replacement. A lot to be said. I tried to give you as much information as possible. Please do like the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this information that I'm give, providing to you guys and everything that I'm telling you guys from what I've what I've known, what I've learned over the last 24 to 48 hours about Arsenal and all the latest transfer news. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll do another video tomorrow. But as for today, I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Catch you guys in the next one. And let's try to get at least 400 likes on this video. And do me a favor, leave a comment down below. Who do you want Arsenal to sign? And what do you think of this whole situation? Personally, to me, 
This is what happens when you leave your business till the final day of the window. It can get very stressful. But I'm out of here, people. Peace.